My name is Winky Amash from Public Works Research Institute, Japan. Today, I'd like to talk about the factors leading to reduce construction productivity in unmanned construction. Unmanned construction means uh, it's kind of a remote operation system. You know, Japan experiences a huge, a lot of uh, disasters, including uh, heavy rains, volcanic eruption, landslide, and of course, earthquakes. To effectively manage and respond to these disasters, we utilize this kind of uh, remote operated construction machines. These machines are controlled by the operators. He is uh, sit down uh, in a safe place, very far from uh, these kind of uh, dangerous areas. In theory, this machine can be operated more than 100 or 1,000 kilometers far away. So the, we have been using this kind of system over 33 years in this real uh, disaster site. And also, it has been uh, deployed in more than 200 disaster areas. Oh, sorry, it's a uh, north area, uh, but maybe you know the Japanese shape, yes. <laughs> However, the remote operation system, it means that it's very safe, but uh, it has a big problem, which is low productivity. Let's say the productivity is reduced by approximately 50% when comparing on, on board operator, as shown like this, change to the remote operation system. Let's say that it's half productivity. So this reduction raises some questions. Why does productivity decrease? Is it due to visual limita uh, limitation because uh, they have to see the uh, camera images or interface because these are small joysticks or a lack of uh, reality perception? Our research aims to identify the factors contributing this reduced productivity. We picked four candidate factors, visual information and body sensa sensation and visual interface and operation interface. To identify and evaluate these factors, we pre prepared five patterns of operation system and it changes one by one. For example, the pattern A, it's a to totally normal operation on board operation. And uh, pattern B, the operator, wear, I'm sorry, it's difficult to see, but operator wears a head-mounted display. On, and on the head-mounted display, operator sees this kind of images. It's totally same as the other one. I... And uh, the above picture, as a difference between the A, this one, to B, is the visual information. And pattern C, the operator uh, right of the machine, and uh, sit down the, this kind of uh, remote operation system, let's say the cab seat remote operation system with head mounted display. And th the difference between the B to C is body sens uh, sensation like a vibration or sound. And pattern D is uh, the, they start to use uh, uh, LCD monitors, the difference is their interface. And finally, they change it to a small controller like, a, like this. So to, to evaluate construction productivity on each pattern A, B, C, D, E, we use model task developed with intention of quantitative evaluation for excavator by previous work. Oh, it doesn't work. The model task includes navigation from start point to work point and manipulation of this target. Productivity was measured uh, at cycle time. Cycle time is the time taken to the complete the model task. This is the result. As you can see on the left, cycle time ratio was normalized with result of pattern A as 100. The result from, as you can see, this uh, result, as you can, uh, the result from A to B and uh, B to C show significant difference. And this uh, analysis based on t-test. The rest, so 
I can say the major factors to reduce the productivity or visual difference from A to B and operation difference D to C. I'm sorry, I'm skipping a detail because the limitation of time, but this is the conclusion. The, in this uh, research, we examine the factors leading to the uh, decrease in construction productivity in a month construction system. And uh, we did uh, five patterns of a remote operation experiment. From that result, the major factors in degrees of construction productivity are differences in visual information for, for example, the situational awareness, and also the differences in operation interface. So visual information and the operating device is uh, important in this research. And uh, the other differences in sensory information and uh, visual interface are not major factors in this research. And future works, actually the, this uh, the evaluation method model task is uh, quite a limitation to evaluate productivity, I know. So I believe the more realistic uh, examination method is needed. Also, the measurement criteria is this time uh, only cycle time. So for more precise evaluation, it should be based on the other uh, criteria such as uh, operator visual perspective or controllable movement, and also the hydrodynamics and so on. Okay. That's my presentation, thank you. Okay, thank you, James.